What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some more news concerning Alexander Usyk. Usyk finally names who will win the Tyson Fury Anthony Joshua fight after facing both. Now, we heard Vladimir Klitschko last week on who he feels would win, and this is what Alexander Usyk had to say, okay? He said, <clears throat> I guess Anthony AJ. I guess AJ. Hmm. Okay. Um, and let me counterpunch. Uh, I don't really think that that's a pretty definite answer compared to Vlad. Like, AJ, definitely. Definitely AJ. And I think styles make fights. I think that... Um, Usyk fighting both of them, you know, I'm, I, you know, and Us I mean, Vladimir uh, fighting both of those guys, you know, it just shows you that um, that's one fighter's take on fighting two guys, but those two guys fighting each other have nothing to do with the guy that fought them both. You know what I mean? Because it's coming from a perspective of who was in the ring with both guys, not meaning what they'll do with each other. Okay, so those guys. AJ and Tyson Fury, I think we'll have a very good fight. I just think uh, AJ fighting Tyson Fury, I think he has better um, better fights with taller fighters. However, I'll say this. What makes it interesting to me with Tyson Fury versus Anthony Joshua is what Anthony Joshua did with uh, Robert Hellenius. And Robert Hellenius did a very good job with AJ. Had it, He had AJ busted up, bro. AJ was the shorter guy, shorter reach. He necessarily wasn't the faster guy. Robert Alenius was short throwing, chopping quick shots and getting out of dodge, but he was using his height as well. So when Joshua come, tried to come in with that straight, uh, that double left and that right hand, he was missing all night and he was getting countered. So what does that mean? Well, that means that Tyson Fury may have an advantage of boxing ability overall, simply because... AJ was looking to knock out uh, Robert Hellenius. Now, that may have, might have been his game plan, but you know, of course, he was still with uh, uh, Derek James, and I think Derek James had him fighting in a way that was aggressive, and uh, but then wasn't really effective to the fighter's style, which is Robert Hellenius, because Robert Hellenius is, is, is pretty much the same height as Tyson Fury. I think he's 6'9". He's taller than AJ. So let's check on how tall Robert Alenius is. Robert Alenius, height and weight. Okay, here we go. Um, he's 6'7", and he's 249. Okay, I thought he was taller than that, but he was definitely taller than AJ in that ring. So Fury is billed 6'9". I don't know if he's definitely 6'9", because he looks like he's the same height as Robert Alenius, to be fair. But Robert Alenius you know, uh, is brought in and was brought in a lot to help prepare other fighters uh, in the fighting style of Tyson Fury. Not saying he fights like him, but Robert Alenius. You know, ask Adam Kalnaki. Robert Alenius, is, he, is he's able to reach out and touch you, especially having those long arms and stuff like that, you know. Um, <clears throat> let's see what his, uh, his reach is. 79 inches. OK, so him fighting someone like Joshua and Joshua. Um, so Joshua's weight <clears throat> and reach is 82, but it didn't really matter because Hellenius had a shorter reach, but was still able to catch him, reach out and touch it. So Tyson Fury, you know, he's able with that whip and jab. So it'll still be an interesting fight. So again, Alexander Usyk didn't really give us nothing or why he feels that he will have his AJ. I, I guess AJ, that's not good enough for me. That's really not a prediction at all. That's just kind of like a guess. That is not even an educated guess simply based on the way he uh, answered and then it was it was it was kind of some wishy washy type stuff and that may be due to the fact that you know AJ and Usyk has a, have a better relationship. I know Vladimir Klitschko and Joshua has a way better relationship than Vladimir and Tyson Fury ever will have. 
Because there will always be bad blood between Vlad and Tyson Fury, I think. I think they will always be at each other's neck. Don't matter how old they get, I think that will be like some Lennox Lewis versus Riddick Bow type stuff. The only difference was that Vlad actually fought Tyson Fury, right? And lost to Tyson Fury after a long streak of victories, right? So I always think that that would be a factor. But AJ fighting Tyson Fury should still be a good fight. You guys tell me what you think of Alexander Usyk's, I guess, prediction of who he feels or who he thinks will win that fight between the two. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace!